guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kindness and i'm currently filming this video from venus Lithuania. i've been getting questions from you know my friends my rich gang fam many of you coming to Lithuania for your studies and asking what kind of part-time job can i do as a student and september is around the corner and you'll be coming for your master's degree your bachelor's degree so it's very important very crucial vital that we talk about this today so ladies and gentlemen without any further ado let's get right into the video so guys the first readily available job is a job as a teacher so in lithuania most of the time i see parents asking oh i'm looking for a teacher who can teach my child english you understand that lithuania is not an english speaking country so most parents and there are so many international people living here now so they're always looking for people to make sure that their child is continuously learning the english language while going to a lithuanian school for example and also there are opportunities for people who can teach like chinese or like russian or polish whatever language that you can speak so this is one job that you can absolutely work around your schedule with your university uh, studies and you know it will not be too stressful for you i mean teaching does not just mean uh, because you can speak a language you know you need to practice but there are so many resources even on youtube as you're watching me now i mean after watching this video you need to look for that <laughs> for those resources but yeah there are resources that you can take advantage of and you can start practicing uh, how to be a teacher in your own language the second most requested or most available job here in lithuania would absolutely be as a nanny you have many parents who live here working uh, whether they are working from home working from the office whatever the case may be they're always looking for someone to take care of their child while they are not at home they may not want to keep them in a crash or in a preschool i mean the preschool has uh, a time schedule that they finish and from so, so time to the to time the parents want someone to take care of their child so this is what i always see people asking for they want a nanny they want somebody to help uh, help their kids you know stay with their kids while they do other things so guys venus where i live we have this group called foreigners in venus and encounters they have foreigners encounters and also there are other, other groups just make sure you type it on google you know search for uh pay facebook groups for foreigners in lithuania and you will find a lot but the main one that we always use all the time or most people are are in is called the foreigners in venus uh page third job that absolutely is also related to nanny which is also something highly requested is a house help okay house help you know in nigeria house help is different i'm from nigeria guys house help is different in nigeria we you live with the owner or the house owner yeah something like that but it's not the same here house help here you don't have to live with the person there are also options where the person invites you to live with them but that's very rare it's not common but here you can be a house Help, so you can come and clean for them you can come and wash the plates for them come and uh, make food for them iron for them especially like the young guys you know this bachelors this is what they're looking for they, they they don't have time either they don't have time or they don't want to they don't want to do it but whatever the case may be this is where you come in and you can work as a part-time student and these jobs are always very beneficial to you because you can always work it around your own schedule so if you're having you can arrange with the person okay we'll meet on Saturday Saturdays, you're probably not going to school on Saturday and you can ask them or I can meet at a different time I can meet in the evening and the morning you know you can work it around your own schedule so next job in Lithuania which is readily available as well is as a kitchen help so in Lithuania when you go to the restaurant they always need people who can work behind the bar uh, not behind the bar, but like inside the kitchen so they wash the plates clean the place and those things you know things like that so this is uh, something that most restaurants are always looking for if you cannot cook sometimes they're also looking for a chef actually they're looking for a chef, a chef but most of the time they don't want to hire a part-time chef right they want to hire somebody full-time but like i said if you're doing your masters you know you have a full-time opportunity but make sure not to neglect your studies and then focus on working one thing i would just say is most of the time people think that job is going to meet them when they're at home uh, is the, no I, like seriously no it doesn't work like that and you cannot also be following everybody to be saying there is no job when you've not even gone to any restaurant to ask them if they need the kitchen help you've not even done your part at all you're just sitting at home complaining there is no job you might sometimes have to go to the restaurant most of the time they make the post on those groups but yeah you can go to a restaurant and tell them you know hey i'm looking for a job as a part-time kitchen help or whatever or what positions do you have available right now in your restaurant and they will always tell you 
I've even found that uh, there, there's even a case of someone who the restaurant didn't want to hire as a part-time uh, kitchen help. They took their friend and the, uh, the restaurant was able to hire both of them. So part-time, they were both doing part-time, so four hours each, and they were able to cover the shift that the uh, restaurant needed. So this is what you can do, but don't sit at home saying there is no job when you've not even tried, okay? The next job that people, international people can also do is as a bartender, guys. If you know how to mix the drinks, you know how, you know, you're a mixologist, right? That mixologist, is, uh, yeah, is that what they call bartenders? But you know, if you are very good at that, you can absolutely go to the restaurant and sell your ideas. Guys, there are international people now opening restaurants here, and I'm sure that not only do they want to work with yeah. Finians, they also would love to work with international people with foreigners so this is where you come in guys if you are really good at this you can start learning right now nice job is also very thing that people are always looking for a translator if you know how to speak like two languages if you're bilingual this is absolutely amazing you get opportunities to translate documents and again because they are foreigners trooping in into lithuania lithuanians are bringing their partners and who are foreigners as well you can absolutely uh, help them translate their documents because they always have documents they need to submit to the government or like immigration or whatever or university documents so you can absolutely come in here be their translator and even sometimes some organizations are looking for someone to be a translator yeah and they pay you for your job so this is actually like a really really good opportunity if you're bilingual you can translate from french to english from uh, japanese to english you know that kind of thing you know you just be a translator so this is a job that will suit your timetable perfectly as a student in lithuania so the next job i see people are always searching for right now is a personal assistant so people are getting very busy they're opening companies they're just busy right and they're looking for someone to help them plan their day they're looking for someone to help them schedule their meetings book their flights book their hotels you know prepare for them all those kind of things that personal assistants do so most of the time make sure you join these foreigners in lithuania group so the salary for this particular uh, personal assistant is usually around 10 10 euro per hour if you like organizing definitely check out open or uh, open positions uh, for personal assistant and if you're doing your masters make sure you check other websites as well guys other websites i just mentioned so many links in lithuania where you can find jobs and this is something that i'm bringing to this youtube channel very very soon probably the next sit down video that i'll be posting will be about jobs links prices what jobs we have what are they offering and everything related to jobs full-time jobs in lithuania so make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video so that i can know that you want to see that video because it's coming <laughs> so the next job that you can easily find as a part-time student is as a as a graphic designer so many lithuanians that came back to lithuania during the uh, uh, pandemic they are also foreigners that are here and who are who have businesses and all that so they're always looking for somebody to design their stuff and guys even if you're not a proper graphic designer you know there is a there is a website called canva.com canva.com so you can start practicing with that listen youtube you're watching this video all this i'm telling you after you watch this video just search for whatever you want to do and you find more resources to grow in that area but yeah you can start learning how to be a graphic designer learn how to like design logos learn how to design pictures and even uh if you know how to use photoshop amazing like great right you can design all those uh, flyers through photoshop or lightroom whatever whatever it is that you're using right or that you know how to use but Canva is such a good place to start because they have templates, pictures, they have so much, so much and it's, they have a paid version and a free version. So you can absolutely start your graphic designing skills or graphic designing learning journey on Canva. So check it out, they have a free version which has everything that you will be needing right now to get yourself started all right so the next job that i would really want to see even more foreigners do is as a photographer in lithuania we have amazing photographers like no joke we have amazing photographers and i know of only one foreign photographer in lithuania so we would like to have that you, I'm sure that many foreigners would love to have their pictures taken not only by Lithuanians but also by foreigners. So if you have that skill and you want to, you, you are thinking if it will be useful right now, it will be absolutely useful, guys. We need you as a photographer, and also if you're a photographer, I, I you can also start to learn videographing. Videographer, you can also start to learn uh, to be a videographer as well because this is also something that goes hand in hand because most of the time international people have like birthdays for 
their children they have their own birthdays they have uh, you know things like that and sometimes you want somebody who understands right away what you want to do but yeah guys so make sure you check that out you can be a photographer in lithuania be a videographer there are people always looking for these guys i feel that this is such a niche that people have not taken advantage of and maybe it is you we're waiting for the next job that is also available for international foreign students is in fast food so like mcdonald's kfc sushi place and pizzerias like where they make pizza chili pizza charlie pizza can can and all those kind of places so these are mentioning places that are in lithuania so most of the time they need like uh, people that will work no, I mean, not even that they need. Most of the time, people that work there are, are also students, and most of those students want to work part time. So they want more students that can, you know, change their shift uh, from time to time. So you can absolutely go there and ask them if they're looking for someone to help. Most of the time, you might need to speak like a bit of Lithuanian if you're not working just completely in the kitchen area if you're gonna be meeting or working as a waitress or as a waiter you probably need to speak like basic Lithuanian so start learning right now Labadiana check out my video I shared with you basic Lithuanian words that you need to know right now so check that out so guys the next job is also very food related so this one requires you to deliver food so you're not working in the restaurant you're not a kitchen help but you're delivering food so in Lithuania we have two main uh, companies that have this service is Walt and Bolt have you know people People can use their cars if you are if you're gonna be driving as a student this would be great for you you can even do so much more but yeah if you are if you don't have a car they do have they have like backpacks I'll try to insert a picture here they have like a really nice safe backpack that those people carry and they can you know put those the food in the backpack and most of them have like bicycles so if you know how to ride a bicycle great because you'll be able to ride and take the food to the people Just register go to this website and register if you want to register with them and then write all the documents showing that you're legally staying in Lithuania and then they can recruit you successfully and then you start as a boat boat food deliverer deliverer what do they call them deliverer Yo, next job that foreign students can absolutely take advantage of is as a social media marketer or social media manager, whatever the case may be. If you are studying this already or if you enjoy spending time on social media, if you enjoy it, you might as well start making money from it, right? There are people always looking for this, especially like small business owners who are running like a business in Lithuania online or in, in stores. They always are looking for somebody who can, you know, focus on their social media uh presence and this is where you come in if you enjoy it you can absolutely reach out to them and again guys i already mentioned this probably one of the points that i met and that i stated you don't have to wait for people to reach out sometimes people don't even know what they need but when you bring the idea to them that hey i can see that your 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 page is kind of needing me this is what i can do this is what i can do look at my page or not start building your page right now so the way you're telling them to go and look at your instagram you can you know you have evidence you have can help them manage their social media account you can help them reply to messages reply to dms reply to their emails and stuff and you can always work it around your time as a student what is better than that nothing <laughs> so guys the last job that is readily available for you as a foreign student in lithuania is as a summer camp teacher guys especially right now i know that you're probably coming in september but next summer is coming right next summer is coming and there is always a need like a serious need for people who can teach in these camps because most of these kids are not in school so they're having all these camps everywhere they're having videos they're having counters they're having clipeta everywhere there are camps everywhere and most of the time they don't like they take you to those camps you don't pay anything they give you accommodation the food and they pay you some of them are not paid but most of them you would find ones that are paid and usually they start recruiting for volunteers or for people that work in those camps around um around march and they will start preparing because they already know that this summer camps they're gonna hold they're holding right now so this is something that you can absolutely take advantage of during the summer time all these jobs that I, I shared with you one thing that I have to tell you is this this is actually so important you know but before I even tell you that the jobs here in Lithuania all these jobs I mentioned the minimum wage currently right now in Lithuania is 607 euro but most of these jobs you probably don't make that amount you probably don't make that amount you probably make around 
400 350 400 400 to 450 euro so this is something that you should be expecting to get as your salary at the end of the month but as well guys i didn't mention this but there are also companies that are hiring for part-time students it's not uh, something very it's not something that is common but you can actually write to them build your your cv build your linkedin profile be active so that when you approach a company that you see fit as you know for your career or for what you're doing or for what you're studying you can always tell them the reasons why you want to be a part-time worker for them or why you want to work with them this is your reasons or these are things this is your evidence this is something build your cv this is why you need to subscribe to this channel because the next video that i'll bring bring into you is about links all the jobs all the cvs all the things job related how to do it how to get it done and the final thing that I want to say guys this is crucial this is crucial and I need you to listen listen to me listen and listen very carefully you see whatever job that you decide to do whether it's a nanny kitchen help translator tutor all these things that I've listed here I'll just have to tell you you do not have to let anybody demean you allow anybody to disrespect you Guys, I'm saying this thing because I know that it's so important. As a foreign student, and especially as a brown-skinned person or as a black person, let this not stop you, first of all. You know, on this channel, I tell you, because you are black, in fact, your blackness has nothing to do with you succeeding and failing. Skin color should not stop you, guys, from achieving anything you want to achieve. Like, your skin color is how you came. Seriously, is your eye stopping you from achieving anything? Like, it doesn't make sense, right? This is how you came here. Enjoy yourself. But, guys... I know what I'm saying. Most of the time, people try to belittle you, disrespect you for one reason or the other. So, guys, don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. And how can you not let that happen? First of all, speaking up. If something is wrong with your workplace, you need to speak up. If something is wrong, like if your colleagues are treating you bad, try to bring it up to them. Take it to your manager. Don't allow anybody to disrespect you because this is something common. And even sometimes, oh, this is sad, but most of the time when you start working, in this restaurant as a kitchen help they try to give you all the job to do i know that this is bad but it's the truth don't just sit quiet and take all the job to do let them know that the job should be shared right let them know bring it out like in a very respectable way to your manager tell them your experiences because this is common guys and i'm sorry that i'm even mentioning it but it is the truth don't take all the job you need to let them know that the job should be shared accordingly and equally to people and don't take all the jobs because you're the i don't know escape goat escape goat don't do that the last and final thing is this whatever job you decide to do look nice go there looking nice guys this is the job you're doing now this is not who you are dress according to who you are okay dress according to who you are who you are is the person that you are building the person that you are going to be the person that you are in your spirit already that is about to manifest <laughs> it is about to manifest but guys please look good don't say because i'm making small money i don't have time put yourself together as much as you can put on a nice t-shirt you don't have to buy anything just just look just look presentable you know whatever job you're doing whether you're doing as a cleaner did i mention clean as a job yeah i mentioned it for personal clean but there are companies by the way that hire cleaners there are companies that hire cleaners i'll probably link some in my description box but whatever job that you decide to do guys please and please look presentable as a personal chef as a personal whatever it is just look good so guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope that this helps you think now what jobs you can do in lithuania i have videos that will absolutely give you more ideas check it all out i have videos about 15 side hustles that you can do as a student i have videos about all things in lithuania how to get your first job in europe in lithuania check all those videos out and i wish you all the best thank you so much for coming to watch this video take care of yourself and god bless you see you see you soon when you come to lithuania bye guys